Hello, operator. Today is a very special day. I'd like to speak to the professor. One moment, please, while I connect you. I'm coming, I'm coming, hold your I'm about to have a Swedish massage. And if you've ever had your Swedes massaged, you know how relaxing that can be. Who is this? Oh, professor, this is Mr. Fitzgerald. Happy birthday! Oh, the admirable Mr. Fitzgerald. Thank you so much. It's my third birthday this year. Multiple birthdays is the only way I'm going to make it to 100. You might as well live to 100, since you can already pass for it. I have a present for your birthday. I think you're really going to like it. You'll never guess what it is. Is it bigger than a bread box? Um, no. Is it a reinforced truss? Is it a hand embroidered donut shaped pillow? Uh, Fur lined brass knuckles? No, no, and no. Well, then I can't imagine what it could be. Those are everything a man could want. I'll see you at the usual place at the usual time. You're always late. You're going to be late for your own funeral. When is that scheduled? Because I can't do it on Tuesday. I'm busy. <laughs> oh, never mind. I'll see you later. Goodbye. Well, goodbye. I have a strange feeling about this. I have a strange feeling about today. <sighs> Time for a massage! Ow. 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 Don't look at me in that tone of voice. Where have you been? Well, I had to see a man about a horse. Hey, 
I thought we weren't supposed to come here anymore. Yeah, but don't you remember? My mother did our community service for us. Well, so what's the emergency? You know how you're always saying how hard it is to find the right gift for someone who has nothing? Especially after you gave them something. And then they have to put that something somewhere. And then they get used to getting something, having something, and you can't think of anything, and you have nothing to give. Something like that, yeah. Well, remember, it's the thought that counts. From me to you. Shouldn't have. I thought that too. Where did you get this? Oh, I was very lucky. A door to door ancient antiquity salesman was in the neighborhood. The minute I saw it, I thought of you. Do you know what this is? Hideous art? <laughs> it's voodoo! Voodoo hoodoo? Voodoo! Voodoo! This is the cursed idol of the gods of wombats by the Watusi tribe in the deepest, darkest Swaziland. Oh, cannibals, head shrinkers, stingy moonshiners. Oh, how I know them too well. <laughs> when you say head shrinkers, do you mean... Do you mean... Whoever catches this idol is doomed to avenge the sacrilege. They're going to bury us eventually up to our necks and ants will burrow into our brains. Or worse, we're doomed. Now I know why the salesman said there's no return policy. There goes my $1.75. <laughs> what are we going to do now? Quick! Your holy water! <laughs> ah, it's empty! Ah! Ah! Don't panic! We need to calmly think of a plan. Yes, a plan. That's always been a good idea. Yes. Do you remember when we... Which led to the longest strip search in history of 12 days, 18 hours, 2 minutes, and 7 seconds. But who is counting? Oh yeah, good times. What, you got anything? What were we talking about again? Oh, uh, oh, I know. Let's throw a virgin into a volcano to appease the gods. You know, you never cease to amaze me. How do you know all this stuff? Yeah. I should know. I'm a doctor.
Oh. Mm. A virgin, a virgin, a virgin. Well, don't look at me. Mm, mm, mm. Are you sure? Yeah.